All right, y'all, so it's about 6.30 a.m. We've got about 30 minutes before the sunrise comes up, so I'm gonna get my crab pot set up. Now, I'm doing something a little different this time. Um, if you watched any of my previous, you know, crabbing videos, I had those really big crab nets I got from Academy. Some people were calling them pure nets for like $19.99. I don't think they're effective, man. I went crabbing about four times. Caught about a total of four crabs. I'm averaging one crab per trip. So I decided to upgrade and buy some more new nets. Something a lot smaller, more convenient like this, as you can see. So yeah, I think it's gonna be more practical. You know, it's not as large. It's only about one third of the weight of the previous ones. I'm gonna have my chicken with a little clip there on this one. I still have five total. On this one, I'm still trying to debate or figure out whether or not I like the bait clips or the bait bags. We'll figure that one out later. I think the bait bags would be good for like, you know, fish carcasses and stuff like that, shrimp heads or whatever. But for now, I'm definitely going with the clips. So we're just going to set our crab pods up. Um, hopefully get set up by sunrise. One more thing. Hold on. Let me check it out. Now also, while I'm setting my crab nets down, I'm also going to be doing something else. I'm going to be hand lining. Hand lining crabs, right? Put your chicken drumstick here, toss it out, wait, pull it, come back with net, try to scoop it up. I can already feel myself getting upset at this whole process, but I'm gonna try. So yeah, with a combination of five crab nets out, me tossing, I mean, I got these, four of these out. I got crab coming home. I got a total of, what, one, two, three, nine traps. All right, I should get at least one crab per trap. That's the goal today, man. The goal today is nine crabs, keeper crabs. Let me round up, because I like even numbers. I'm trying to get 10 keeper traps today. That's the code today. I mean, personally, I think I can do it. <laughs> Enjoy the vlog, y'all. Let go. All right, y'all, if y'all want to really see what I'm doing. All right. I kind of checked out in a Facebook group, like Texas crabbing or something like that. Somebody said that leave your chicken out for some days to get it all nice and stank. This is fresh chicken. This is a last minute trip. Somebody also suggested to take the skin off the drumstick. Okay, so I might not have like week old chicken, but I'm just pulling the skin off the drumstick, allegedly. So yeah, um, what do y'all find is the better bait? Is it fish or is it crab? All right, so here's my bait clip. Just gonna just stick this along here. There you go. I feel like I can fit like two. So I put one or two. Probably should put two. We'll start with one though. I don't want to overkill it. But I don't want to underdo it either. Can I fit two on here? Because you know if it's if it's multiple crabs, I don't think crabs like to share. So if they don't like to share then. We'll try to put two drumsticks per trap. There we go. Got my gloves on. So happy that I realized that every time I was putting my chicken on my bait, my hands would get super slimy. I don't have nowhere to wash my hands. And I hate getting my hands all dirty dealing with my camera equipment. Perfect. Gotta hurry up, man. Gotta catch the sunset. Although I have not been catching crabs with my previous crab traps, I do feel that I am getting more efficient setting up my crabs, traps, <laughs> and whatnot. There we go, perfect. Definitely already love these smaller crab pods. A lot easier to set up. They're a lot lighter. Yeah, man. So allegedly, 
when you drop them, right, they fall. Unless you need this buoy right here floats to keep my line up. Let the crab walk in. Boom. I mean, it's not rocket science, y'all. It's only crabbing. It was so damn easy. I don't know why it's so damn hard to catch them. All right. Whew. Light work, light work. All right. Now with these hand lines, I need like a stick, something to tie it around so it doesn't go floating away. I'll probably tie it to, um, I got some clips and tie it around the dock. Or oh, my jetty cart, I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna test one of these out, just one to get started with. So once again, I'm peeling out the skin. There we go. No, uh, these little hooks are like a smaller version of the big clips on my nets, but it still works. Clip that down, and that's it. So all you have to do at this point is toss it, and you're good to go. It has a little weight, right, with the bait hook thing. I know, I know most people just use thread tied around, but I, you know what, I'm fancy, man, I'm fancy. I'm bougie and fancy. Let's just toss it out. So I'm just gonna just set up one of those for now. I just wanna get a feel for it before I kinda worry about the rest. So let me go ahead and hit the pier. We'll set up our five pods. As we set up our five pods, we'll start hand lining and try to get our, our go. 10 caps, caps, not caps, crabs today right now. 10 crabs today. I can do it. Let go. Ankle. I'm gonna do my first one close to shore. Here we go. All right, y'all. Now I actually practice this whole setup at home to make sure I know what I'm doing. Chicken's in a good position. This thing has no railing. Remember that, Renell, or you're gonna die. How deep is it? My lanyard's 10 feet. Okay, it's good. Wrap around the piling. Clip on. set first pot is set let me check it one more time make sure it looks good drop it slowly and we're set all right y'all simple enough and we're good there we go we'll try the opposite current side this one has two Wrap it along. <sighs> All right, y'all, so we have my five nets set. It's currently 6.54. It only took me like 10 minutes to, to set up the whole process. Way easier in comparison to them big academy ones. It took like 30 to 45 minutes. Let's do the hand line one and um, get upset, I can feel it now. It's tied up a little bit. Nothing too special. There we go. And she's good. Bet. People make crabbing like it's, like it's hard or something, man. Jeez, this light work. 
All right. What time is it? 7 7? All right. I think it's been about 20, 25 minutes since I set my pods out or my crab nets. I'm sorry. We're going to do a quick check on all of them. If the spot is hot, I might have one already. If not, I might have to check in like 30 minute increments. So let's see. We'll come back to that one later too. Let's go. All right. Can't jump in front of my camera. Mess up my time lapse stop. But this one's been sitting for about 30 minutes. Here we go. Come on. Come on, crab. Come on, crab. <gasps> Y'all, sh shut the front door. We got one, baby. Okay. First mistake, I'm not prepared because I don't have my tongs close. Nope, nope. Just stay right there, buddy. All right, remember now when you check your crab pods, get your damn bucket. All right, here we go. Oh, there's some mean bugger, huh? Man, you don't like that, do you? There you go. All right, y'all. Got our first crabberoli, crabatuli here. You know what I'm saying? Let's check the gauge. See if it's legal. Tip to tip. Yep, she is a keeper. Right there, y'all. See? Even with the tip missing. Yeah, that's good. She's probably like five and a half. Yeah, this is a keeper. It is a male, kind of yellow. Got some meat to it. This is gonna make at least one sandwich. I'm excited, y'all. I didn't get stuck. You! Yeah. Feeling optimistic. I should try that tea at the deeper part of the pier, or are they closer to the rocks? I'm not sure yet. It's the same. We're just experimenting, trying to figure it out, one part at a time. Go, 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 go! Oh, y'all, y'all, we got a good one, baby. We got a good one. Why does that chicken look so trash? This is. Delicioso Muy Crab Stone crab baby Stone crab is like a blue crab on steroids They taste even better Oh you gonna be one of those huh There you go Just relax my guy Just relax There you go Alright y'all once again from the Tip of the first Alright Now with the stone crab, you can keep the right tip, but it has to be two inches from the joint. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you can only keep the right claw. Oh, the, oh only the right claw. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Did not know that. Mm -hmm. All right. And with the right claw, I'm just realizing I just measured the left one. So this one is Two, two and a half. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, is the regulation two inches or two and a half inches for the right claw only? Y'all give me a second. Let me check the regulations because I'm not going to jail for no damn crap. Okay, Google. What is the regulation for stone crab in the state of Texas? According to Texas Farm to Table and Local Food Guide by Texas Real Food, size limits. Blue crabs must be at least five inches across the carapace to be legally harvested. Stone crabs must have a minimum claw size of 2.5 inches. Uh -huh. Even then, only one of its claws can be removed for legal purposes. There you go, 2.5 inches. I need to also check. I believe it's on the right, not the left for some reason. I'll be back. All right, look, I'm back, y'all. His left one, plenty of meat, good eating. His right one is, is legal. It is legal, a little bit over two and a half inches, about two and three quarter. But since it's not looking like that, I'm gonna put her back. Put him, him back. 
her back. I'm gonna put it back. It's your lucky day, buddy. Your lucky day. It feels good out here, man. I'm, I'm bobbing, y'all. During the summer when it's hot, it's like a thousand degrees, man. My, my nerves be like crazy. Now, with this nice cool breeze, I'm chilling. I'm actually chilling. I might get my chair out, sit down, and relax. Enjoy the moment. I mean, look at my view right now. How can you not feel at peace when this is what you see? No complaints. I do want some crabs, but I still got no complaints. Speaking of crabs, I'm just realizing um, I do have one, which so I could cut and use it for bait, but I want to eat it. I don't want to use it for bait. I want to eat it. All right, y'all, spot number two. It's looking promising. Somebody said, come check this spot out. I went to this spot, but a different version of this spot. It must have been the, um, I would call that the hood spot area, but this is the other spot. This also looks pretty hood, I'm not gonna lie to you. But I've actually physically, visually see crabs, like right there. This is promising. This is very crabby. I'm just not really comfortable around this area. I don't know this spot. I don't know if I'm in the hood. I don't know if I'm in the suburbs. I mean, it, it looks better than the other spot I went to. The other spot was super sketch. I thought I was gonna get ran up on. So I see crabs. I'm going to try to woosa, keep cool, and catch some crabs in this spot. <laughs> Let go. I don't want to shoot nobody, I swear. Try another one. Go, 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 go. Bam! Got him. We got us a keeper, baby. All right, y'all. So definitely gotta keep her. <sighs> nice, pretty male. No claws, but I'm going to eat them. Oops, scale. This is huge. Biggest crab I caught. It's probably close to six or seven inches. <sighs> Let's put it in a bucket. Yo. Yeah. Sorry, y'all. <sighs> my apologies. I promise you, my breath don't stink. Get a measurement. Um, I got like maybe three keepers. That's about it so far. Been out here about an hour. Oh, okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, this one. Oh, for real? I saw that. It was a big one too. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's my first time out here at this spot, so. Oh yeah, there's these some nice crabs out here. Oh, for real? Uh huh. But that was out there deep. <laughs> Oh yes, 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 yes. There we go, y'all. I think we got two, possibly two keepers. So boy. There we go. There we go. Let's check out what we got. So this one definitely looks like a keeper. Yep, keeper. Oh, a little bit too small. It's about four and three quarters. Yeah. All right, buddy. Just let go and you're born free. Hey. Here we go again. All right, ready? Deeper lanyard. Pull, 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 pull. Oh, another keeper. Deeper is the ticket. Deeper is definitely the ticket. Oh no, oh no. He's trying to get away. There we go. 
All right, another keeper. Yep, it's about five and a half. Male. In the bucket she goes, y'all. I don't know what kind I'm at, but I'm doing good. Here we go. Number three. Go. Oh, we got one, got one, got one. Might be a keeper. She is, he is a male. Yep. Another keeper, y'all. All right, y'all, so my morning, I think I hit the water at, was it 6.30 a.m.? It's currently 5, 5, Jesus Christ, 1.31 p.m. I'm committed to staying here until I hit my goal of 10, 10 blue crabs. I gotta get 10. I mean, I caught more than 10, but to be specific, 10 keepers. So, um, it's getting hot. Got plenty of water left, so I'm good on that. I bring three 64 can canisters. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. I say it every video. <laughs> but this is what I bring to hydrate. 64 ounces. These two are empty now. So I still got a full 64 ounce canister left. Um, two. I just gotta get two more. All right, so I check it at 30 minute increments. It's now 1.30. Let's go ahead and um, check them all. See if we can get to, let's go. All right, here we go. In 30 minutes. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Get it, get it, get it. We had a rider and this bad boy here. Go in the water, I'm not gonna hurt you. Bro, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, little man? Go, go in the water. Go in the water. Go in the water. Go in the water. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. <laughs> go in the water. All right, I'll help you out. This, this, not the rope. There you go. Wait, wait, wait. Keep it low. Keep it low. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Number 10. Number 10. Number 10. Number 10. Number 10. Oh. Yes. It's not a keeper. All right, y'all, time to do another round of checking my nets. Like I said, baby, I just need, I just need one, one keeper to hit my goal. And if I hit my goal, I may or not. We're still recording. All right, let's go. The spot is getting hot over here, man. I need to throw my net over there somehow. Here we go. Go, 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 Yes, got one, got one, got one, got one. And it looks like a keeper. 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 Let's go, let's go. Let's go. All right, let's check this out. This might be the one that we need to hit our goal. It's a male. You see, it's gonna be close. Here we go. Yes. Oh my God, we did it. We did it. Keeper. Keeper. The goal today is 10 blue crabs. I have not caught 10 crabs my entire life of crab fishing, but I caught 10 in one day today. We did it, man. I don't know what's going to be next for this video. I still got to check three more nets. 
What time is it? It's coming up on 2 o'clock. I want to do a catch, boil, and cook. Wait, catch, clean, and boil on 10 crabs. It's amazing, man. It's a grind, though. Thumbs up, man. Thumbs up the video. For, uh, for having me out here, being out there. Damn, I'm delirious. I can't speak. Thumbs up the video for me being out here grinding. Comment below what's your favorite part about this video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'll be out here grinding, man. And guess what? You want to subscribe to my channel because I'm only going to go harder come fall once this weather gets a lot lighter. We did it, man. If this is the end of the video, I'll see y'all on the next one. If it's not the end of the video, I might see y'all in my kitchen. Well, I could see y'all in a couple of seconds to check my other pods. Yeah! Here we go. All right, now. You gotta go quick, hard, and upwards. Quick, hard, and upwards. Oh, yes. Yes. Another keeper. Another keeper. Nice one, too. Nice one, too. Nice one, too. You're not happy, huh? I don't blame you, buddy. Yes. All right, y'all. This one 100% a keeper. It might be PB of the day. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that bad boy here. Look at that bad boy here. So this is... It's number 11. It's number 11, baby. And this is like the prettiest one. Look at the blue on it. Fluorescent. Don't lose it, don't lose it. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is a good solid, probably six or seven inches. Yeah. Put it in the cooler. All right, free line. It's getting hit. If I can get this free line one, we had a dozen. Baker dozen. All right, here we go. I gotta figure out like at what point to grab them. I'm swim to the left, that's not good. I need to go to the right. Okay, we're gonna have to go down and get this one. I'm not letting this one go. Snake City, I don't care. No, you're not getting away from me. Not this time, buddy. Fool me once. Shame on me. Whoa. 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 Right, here we go. Here we go. Up, up. Up. Up, 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 up. Oh, got him. We got him. Oh, my God. That's a nice one, too. Oh, my God. I'm on an unstable rock. I'm about to bust my butt. Since I'm out here, I might as well cast it back out. Okay. You know, don't lose the one you actually have to try to cast out your bait. Be smart. There we go. Here we go. All right, free line is doing. Bro, it's heating up, man. It's actually heating up right now. This is a nice one. There we go. Nice one. We might be at 12. We might be at 12. Oh, yes, you did that. You did that right now. Oh, my God, that was crazy. That was a nice one. This might be PB. I'm missing one claw. Oh, he's spitting at me. Look at this one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is 100% keeper. This is probably five. Wow. Five. Almost seven inches. Seven inches. Unreal. I see something floating. It must be my. That is it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Got him. Got him. Got him. There we go. Keeper. Definitely keeper. 
Here we go. Last one. Last one of the day, y'all. Can we get one more? Let's see. Gotta pull it quick right now. Gotta pull it quick. Go, 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 go. Yes, got one. Yes. Got one. Got one. Hold on. Give me a second. This is a nice one. Got a keeper. Okay. All right, y'all. That was the last net of the day. I'm headed home. If my math is mathing right, even though the sun is hot, this makes number 14, 14 of the day. We can do it tonight, baby. So once again, y'all, um, if y'all want to see me do more crap videos, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and all that other crazy stuff. It's been real. Peace. All right, y'all. So I'm back at home, back in my kitchen. I hope you enjoyed the first segment of the episode, the catch. Welcome to the second segment, AKA the clean and cook. If you're still watching, I like you better than the other people who already cut off this video. That's right, y'all. Y'all my number ones. I love y'all, man. So yeah, man, I'm excited to get this crab thing going on. Y'all, what y'all watched today was probably my fourth trip before I finally got it, man. I went crabbing some other times, some other locations. Didn't have no luck, but just trying to keep adjusting, took some tips online, and I think I'm locked in. I think I'm locked in. I'm looking forward to my next crabbing trip to see if I can be even more productive. We got 14, got 14 keeper crabs, y'all. So I'm excited to get them things cleaned and cooked and I'm ready to eat because I'm exhausted. So yeah, man, so let me show you what I'm gonna do today. Something simple and quick because once again, I'm tired. I'm ready to eat and go to bed. So let's check it out. Let's go. All right, y'all, every time I boil crabs, um, even snow crabs, I do the same thing, man. I use the Louisiana crawfish shrimp and boil seasoning. We're gonna put some Louisiana concentrated syrup right there. We're gonna do some little petite potatoes, some corn, and of course the star of the show, 14 delicioso blue crabs. I think I can do it. It's gonna be delicious. I know I can do it. Let go. Yeah. All right, y'all, time for the next segment of the clean and cook. The actual hardest and most complicated part, the cleaning. Check it out. All right, then on high power. There you go. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Oh, y'all, y'all thought I was about to break them open, get a hose, spray out the gills, rinse them again? Nah, I'm tired. Anybody got time for that? We're cooking these hoes. Now let's get to the cook portion. Let go. All right, y'all, so first, get your pot boiling. Hot, hot, hot. And from there, take my lid off. Woo! All right, now when it comes to this Louisiana shrimp and crawfish boil mixture, um, be careful with this. This, this. this pack of punch, all right? So I'm probably gonna use maybe half of it. See it here. All right, this half of it. Well, if you a G like me, use all of it. All right. <coughs> all right, so we got that. Next, we have that Louisiana crab and shrimp boil concentrate. I don't even know what that means. It says, um, shake well, one tablespoon per five pounds. How much does a crab weigh? Probably like half a pound. One. So two crabs equal maybe one pound. I probably got seven pounds of crab. So about five tablespoons. Eh. We'll wing it. <laughs> Cleans up your sinuses. All right. So we got that. Next up. Dropping our crab in. Oh, yeah. That is the good stuff. So, yeah, y'all, I was out there fishing, or I can say crabbing, from 6 30 in the morning 
to probably like 10 when I got to the first spot. In that video, in that video, like I wasn't in it, in the video you just watched, I did catch only that stone crab and one keeper crab, then it got slow. So from there, I relocated, okay? Once I relocated, as soon as I got there, I was looking over the edge. You can actually physically, visually see crabs just sitting there. Even like discarded chicken bones, it was crazy. The ones I could see, I caught a couple, but they weren't keepers. So once I um, started casting my crab nets out, I kind of figured, you know, I was getting some hits, um, put an extension out on my crab nets to get them out farther, then it started really popping. Something else I noticed is my little free line, right? When you just have like a you know, piece of chicken on a string and just throw it out there, that had a lot of activity, but those were the hardest ones to catch. It was fun though. Crabbing is like really fun. You know what I'm saying? I know my last video was crazy. If you would watch my last video, um, I think it's called, I caught the biggest fish of my life. You know, this is more of a laid back kind of vlog, but it's still it just as exciting to me. All right, so we got our crabs in. We're gonna boil those for 20 minutes, okay? Um, amongst that, I have my corn, okay? And also my potatoes. The potatoes, you're gonna do those about 15 minutes. So I'm set two timers. One timer, 20 minutes, of course, for the crabs. Another timer, five minutes to put my potatoes in. As far as the corn, personally, I like to boil my corn for five minutes to get it nice and crisp, all right? So you're gonna do stages. Crab first, 20 minutes. Five minutes later, we'll put our potatoes in. From there, additional 10 minutes. That math, that math, math, and yeah, we'll put the corn in last and you'll be good to go. So I'm gonna see y'all in a little bit. Hope you enjoying the episode. And I can't wait to eat. You. Yeah. All right, y'all, so it's been about five minutes. Next up, we're gonna put our petite red potatoes. I can't remember if this particular bag, you can just put in like whole, the whole bag itself. But normally it's just like a tag that says peel and just throw the whole bag in. I ain't taking no chances that this plastic melt and mess up my <laughs> potatoes. So we're gonna just cut it open and toss them in. Oh man, my sinuses, bro. That seasoning and that oil is no joke. I may have went, may have went a little smidgen, a little bit too hard with the seasoning. Wow. But um, it's gonna be fire though. So let's put our potatoes in. Hold on, open my bag a little bit. There we go. Yeah, gotta get some carbs in. Perfect. All right, one more. Get the potatoes in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I wish I can smell the aroma. All right, let's put this back. Cool. All right, so we got about 13 minutes, right? Once again, next up, I'm gonna have to chuck my corn here. We'll peel it, chop it, put this in about five minutes left and get the money shot. We'll be done. See you back in a second when I put the corn in. Be back. All right, y'all, time for the final stage to go. We got about five minutes left to our boil is complete. So this is the perfect time to put in the corn as such. There we go. I don't know where you're located at, but if you're in Texas, the corn right now must be in season because at HEB, you can get four, four corn. This is stalks of corn for $2. Four pieces of corn for $2. So we're just gonna just toss all this in there. Go. Corn and corn and potatoes is like the staple. Even with definitely with um crawfish boards as well. I know a lot of people put like sausage, not a fan in my boroughs. Um shrimp. A lot of people love shrimp. I'm allergic to shrimp, y'all. People ask me all the time, like, you know, can you what happens when you touch it? Nothing happens when I touch it, only when I eat it. Um, mushrooms. I know people in Louisiana, they be getting crazy with it. They be putting everything in there. Mushrooms, lemons, oranges, you know, little babies. You can never know what Louisiana put in there. All right, so we're just gonna st stuff a lot of corn. I think I got like five total corn. I'll just kind of snap them in half and that's it. So we're gonna make sure those get down and marinate. All right, y'all, so let's just go ahead and put this in. All right. 
So we have about five minutes left until our broil is complete. Once again, remember, boil your water, put your seasoning in. After you put your seasoning in, first thing is your crabs. You wanna boil those about 20 to 25 minutes. When they turn like a pretty bright red, they're done. Next, put your petite potatoes in. If you have the small potatoes, it's gonna take about 15 minutes to get nice and tender. After that, your corn, only five minutes, right? You want that nice crisp corn. When you bite into it, where it's just like then you know it's good, okay? So um, let this sit five minutes. We'll come back, we'll get the money shot, do a taste test, and we'll be done. We're almost there. Keep watching, keep watching, we're almost done. All right, y'all, there you have it. That was an excellent money shop. I'm happy with that. So now, my favorite part of the episode, the eat. The eat, man. Ooh. Ooh, look at that, y'all. Look at that, boy. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. All right, man, I know this has been a long, long episode, but I think it was enjoyable, man. So let me just hurry up so y'all can go. Y'all don't wanna hear me smacking. You want to hear me smack? You want to see me try to crab? Yeah, man. Let's try it out. Texas blue crab. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So, mm. What's y'all favorite crab? You know what I'm saying? There's blue crab. There's snow crab, king crab, stone crab. What's your favorite crab? Comment below your favorite crab below. Dungeons crab. I'm curious. All right. Let me let me shut up. So. I just want to test it out for y'all for the camera. Got to get that one bite with some garlic herb butter. Let's mix it up a little bit. Okay, here we go, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. That was worth it. That was worth the eight hours. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. It was worth the eight hours. Okay, I'm about to throw down. If you like the video, make sure you thumbs up the video. Comment below, once again, what's your favorite type of crab? And also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Follow me on my fishing and crabbing adventures. Once again, my name is Raynell Roy, and this is my channel, Fishing Trips. It's been real, y'all. We're, we're gonna drop the little picker for the crab. Peace! <laughs>